Hey guys and welcome back to Mama's Gaming Channel. I'm Mama and today I'm going to be showing you guys some cool tricks that I found on certain maps that you can exploit to flank an enemy or be somewhere that they wouldn't expect. Let's get started. The first map trick is on Eichenwald. This is a popular flanking move that only a handful of characters can pull off. As soon as you leave the attacker's spawn, go to the right to the ledge. If you have Farah or Diva, you can fly around the outside wall and land on the ledge behind the first objective. This is a massive flanking maneuver. From there you can land completely behind the enemy team and do massive damage before the enemy team knows what hits them. For a dive comp, this could be the initiation. Diva and a pharmacy could attack the enemy from behind and the rest of the team pushes in from the front. This trick can only be done by Diva and Farah with a Mercy flying with them and Lucio wall riding. I tried a million times with Junkrat using two concussion mines, Genji with double jump, wall climb, and his dash, and even Tracer's triple blink. It seems you can only do this with the characters that can fly or Lucio who can wall ride. Another trick on Eichenwald is this window off the side of the bridge. This window is accessible to any hero from the street, but only a handful of characters can use it to attack the bridge from an angle your enemy may not expect. This trick can be used by D.Va, Farah, Winston, Sombra, Genji, and even Junkrat if you time it right. It's also a great way to flank the enemy immediately after the payload hits the streets phase. Maybe you can't push the payload under the bridge because there is a bastion on it. You can use the window to flank the enemy and surprise the bastion from behind. The last trick on Eichenwald is my favorite. It took a little bit of trial and error, but I found a way to get Sombra over the first houses in front of the spawn to the far side of the objective. If you can manage to get a beacon on top of the houses and stay up there for 4 seconds, you can throw another beacon over the roof and teleport to a secluded part of the objective that no one ever looks at. This is an extremely powerful move for Sombra since she can immediately go to work hacking health packs or she can hack turrets, bastion, and the enemy Rhine shield, you name it. Junkrat can also do this using the double concussion mind jump both ways. Diva and Farah, of course, can fly over. Genji can with some skillful climbing, jumping, and dashing. And Winston can also do this, but it requires two jumps from the attacker's side. You have to jump on top of the overgrown bastion on the broken house and from there jump over the houses. This trick could get a six man team with no healers behind the enemy lines. If you want healers, which I would, the only ones who could successfully flank are Lucio and Mercy. If Lucio uses the route on the right and wall rides over, then Mercy could float over the edge and when Lucio lands, she can fly over to him. Or Mercy could just fly with the Farah or the Diva. This could be a very powerful flanking move. I mean, you could potentially get an entire team around the choke point behind enemy lines without them realizing where you've gone. It wouldn't be the most ideal team comp, but you could have Winston, Diva, Genji, Sombra, Mercy, and Lucio in a team and pull off those tricks. That team comp works for me as a dive comp. Now let's talk about Volskaya Industries. This map has one cool flanking move that is well known. If you go out of the attacker's spawn and go to the left edge of the map, you'll see a structure with an opening in it. If you can get over there, you will have immediate access to the building next to the objective as well as access to the back side of the objective. This trick is the coolest in my opinion because it can be accessed by so many heroes that you can have your entire team flank the enemy using this one trick. Winston, D.Va, Farah, Tracer, Genji, Lucio, Mercy, Junkrat, Sombra, Widowmaker, and Reaper can all use this trick. You should be careful when using this trick, however. Winston may have more of a challenge crossing that gap than other heroes. Also, since this is a popular route, you may have an Ana waiting with a Trank Dart or a Reaper waiting on the platform above the route outside the building. Still, this trick can be very useful even if the enemy team sees you use it. Perhaps they had Symmetra turrets and a Torb turret waiting for you at the choke point. If you flank them using this trick, you can bypass their defenses and those two heroes will have to change their turret positions. There are so many different flanking routes that you can take in Overwatch. There is even a route at the beginning of Dorado that can be accessed by multiple heroes to flank the entire first checkpoint. Using these routes may be unorthodox, or maybe even a little unhelpful in some scenarios, but their potential is massive. Being able to bring most or all of your team through a route that your enemy wouldn't expect may be just what you need to get a win against choke spamming. There are also some cool positions that you can get a soldier into that you might not have thought possible. Soldier's helix rockets allow him to do some impressive rocket jumps. 
you can rocket jump onto that structure in front of the objective and maybe eliminate a Widow or Hanzo who would never expect a soldier to make such an approach. There are many other jumps he can do on this map as well as several other maps. While these may seem trivial, most people expect soldier to have to be on the ground or using stairs to get to the high ground. Surprising the enemy by jumping onto a place they wouldn't expect may be just what the doctor ordered for a successful ultimate or getting the drop on a Farah who doesn't expect soldier to be so close in her altitude. Using these tricks can keep the enemy guessing as you coordinate your whole team across something that you ordinarily would never even think about. Being unpredictable in a game that lots of people play may give more of an edge in competitive play. Well that's all I have for you today. I'm going to keep looking for other unorthodox tricks and I'll make videos on them later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then hit that like button. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you want to find out more about this channel, then visit www.patreon.com slash mama's gaming channel or click the link in the description below to see my Patreon page. From there, you will find all of this channel's information as well as you can donate if you so desire. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you later in MGC.